Hello, this is Pastor Annette. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion. May God bless you and enjoy His presence. Please make sure you get your COVID-19 vaccination. If you haven't already gotten yours, Schedule it today. Continue to wear masks in large gatherings. Stay at least six feet apart and wash your hands frequently. This could save your life and that of those you love and others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for being our refuge and fortress. No matter what we face and the storms of life as they're raging, we can find safety in your arm. Please, Lord, let your spirit abide as I share this devotion. Speak to and through me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our devotion comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 26. The word of God says, In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Our devotion is entitled, Security. We live in a world filled with danger, poverty, greed, wickedness, and violence. Many people are experiencing feelings of fear, worry, and self-doubt, resulting in a feeling of anxiety and helplessness to meet the challenges of daily life. Anyone with high levels of insecurity may experience a lack of confidence regarding many aspects of life. This feeling of insecurity can appear in all areas of life and come from a variety of causes. Fear, worry, and anxiety disappear as we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and become children of God. We are safe in God's arms. Our focus script assures us that those who fear God and have strong confidence in Him are His children. As children of God, we can find a place of refuge in Him. Just like our earthly fathers protect and provide safety for their children, God provides everything we need in this life and the life to come. Reverence for the Lord is a foundation of knowledge. Anyone refusing to listen to the Lord is a fool. Reverence or fear of the Lord is consistent with his strongest confidence in his mercy and goodness. As his children, we are confident that God loves us. He watches, protects, and defends us. After all, God is a strong tower, a place of defense for his children so we can find true security in God. Many people go through life without enjoying this type of security. People pay a lot of money for security, but only God can make us secure and make us feel free from fear and anxiety. Honesty and faithfulness to God will keep us secure as we do right in the Lord. As we focus on Jesus and seek to walk in harmony with Him, We can praise and give glory to God in the security of His righteousness, His power and might. God wants to keep us secure, which means He wants to hear about the things that make us most insecure. God cares about us and anything that affects us. Knowing God cares gives us security and peace of mind. When we put God first in everything in our lives, we will experience real security and fulfillment in God. We can find security in God's love, His peace, His power, and His divine wisdom and knowledge. We find security in knowing we belong to God. We are married to God, so we don't walk alone. He is with us and He is for us. He uses his divine power to provide all the security we need in this life. As we yield ourselves fully to God, he is our keeper and provider. 
He provides for all of our needs and preserves our lives. Through Christ Jesus, we have everything we need. We are safe in his arms because we have true security. Please listen to this message in song by the Thompson Community Singers, and I'll be right back.
please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for providing everything we need. No matter what we're facing, we can find safety in your arms. When we are afraid, we can find refuge in you, O oh Lord. When the storms of life are raging, we can find safety in your arms. I'm so glad we can always run to your arms and find security in you. O oh Lord, help us to always turn to you for safety and walk in harmony with you day by day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen security. Thank you for joining us for today's Devotion of Thought. I'm Pastor Arnett Owen. Please join us again next time. God bless you.